Welcome everyone to this week's episode of Jim and Java. I'm Jim Dempsey, your host. Well, welcome everyone. It's great to have you back this week. This is a uh, starting to get to be a busy time of year already. Uh, if your organization is at all geared towards the school year, um, our organization is. We work a lot with high school and college students, and as a result, the start of a school year is always an important time. But if nothing else, it's starting to get to be closer to year end. Now, I know that seems really strange when we think this is uh, uh, August and it's it's getting close to year end, but we are already, because of supply shortages, uh, because of companies just not being equipped with staffing and everything else to prepare for a any large printing jobs and mailings at year end, uh, we've had to start early already in our search for companies uh, to do our jobs for year-end. We've also begun to look at paper suppliers, individuals who uh, in some cases we do uh, electronic signatures and those things need to get started early. So it's hard to believe that we are in August already starting to think about year-end, but we're, we're definitely doing that as an organization. You may be in the same boat and it's uh, it definitely keeps you busy. If nothing else, you might also have a an event this fall or you might also have an event in the spring that you're already preparing for and so often events that I will do in the spring uh, will jumpstart those uh, no later than October 1st and I will be looking at October 1st and November 15th for a lot of recruiting at least our key table hosts for our events so you may be in the same boat well I am so thankful for your questions every week We've got a good one this week, and I'm going to go ahead and dive right in. Our question of the week this week is from Susan in Itasca, Illinois, and Susan says, My boss wants me to focus on foundations this year. Is that the best use of my time? Well, Susan, what a great question, and uh, certainly I never want to put anyone in a compromising situation if their boss or board member is directing them to do one thing, but you have asked, is that the best use of your time? And if that means that you do have some latitude that you could come back to your boss and say, I am not necessarily sure if this is the best use of my time, could we try this? instead that may be a way of doing it and in this case that's exactly what I would recommend foundations are an important component and an important part of any good development effort and it's always important that you start a foundation department or a foundation effort you need to begin researching cultivating and at least identifying what the interests are of foundations that have a heart and a passion for the mission of your organization. Any successful foundation effort is always the marriage or the merging of the mission of foundation with what your organization is doing. If those two things merge together well and you have a marriage that just couples you together, uh, you've got a good shot at getting money from that foundation. But foundation efforts takes time, it takes energy, and unfortunately, it leads to a lot of rejections. And in fact, I would almost say that not just 9 out of 10, but almost almost 10 out of 10 proposals that you will do will be rejected at least the first, the second, and maybe even the third time before you start to break through. So if I'm looking at what is the best use of your time, this time of year, especially in the fall, you've got to really look at communicating with individual partners. This is your best time. There's really no better time of the year than October, November, December to raise money for your organization. And that means that you've got to identify who your critical few are. You've got to make sure that you are putting a letter or proposal in their hands before 
I would say November 1st in a lot of cases, and you've got to either get on the phone or get face-to-face -face with them. So if I was going to choose what is the best use of your time as we are moving into this next part of the year, this uh, last quarter of a year, I, I would have to say that starting a foundation effort is not the most effective use of your time, not the best use of your time. And I would probably save something like that for either late spring or early summer on that. Now, you do need to look to find out when foundations, particular foundations, give. And that's an important element. But I wouldn't be spending my time and energy, valuable time, focusing in on foundations. Now, you can multitask and do two things at once, but a majority of your time should be spent working on and cultivating relationships with major donors and not with foundations. So that would be my recommendation, Susan. I hope that helps you. Thank you so much for submitting the questions. I hope that you watching this video are thinking about what question you might have. It could be related to Susan's question. It could be a new question. If you're out on Twitter, reach us at DevFStrats and use the hashtag Jim and Java. You can always send me a question at developmenteffectivenessm at gmail.com. You can add your questions in on any YouTube video in the comments section, such as this video or even our content section. Don't be concerned at all about just dropping it in the comments. I read and respond to every comment, so please drop it in there. And I would just like to connect up with you and help you to better your development and fundraising efforts. My heart and my passion is to make a difference in the lives of leaders in nonprofit organizations and ultimately see to the point where your organization can accomplish its mission and be more successful. And if I can help by answering a question for you and leading you down the right path, I'd love to be able to do that. So as we always say, it's our goal to help you increase income and reach the goal of becoming fully funded. Thanks a lot. Watch this video to raise more money than you ever have before. Take care. See you in the next video.